uh, it's an e-paper based watch. So from this watch, which used um, OLED screen, it would get washed out when you uh, went outside for a run. But this one we switched to an e-paper screen that uh, it, it looks great outdoors. Um, it's a high resolution screen, so you can demo, you can see watch faces. Um, we also partnered with RunKeeper, which is uh, a fitness application. I think they have yeah. that. Yeah, that's 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 um, yeah it, it, it's great, I go cycling. And this actually gives you a heads-up display for RunKeeper. So when you go for a run or a cycle, a bike ride, you put your phone in your back pocket, and you can see uh, the elapsed time, um, the distance traveled, pace, or uh, your current speed. And then can you interact with the app as well, or is it just display? It has four buttons, yeah, and so it's kind of up to the app developer. We're leaving three, three buttons on the side um, for the app developer to, uh, to work with, and then we have a back system. Button. Oh, so we can program that with the API. Yeah. What, what else do you have here? What is that? So this is a message from Twine. Uh, Twine is another project that launched on Kickstarter. They're a little four-inch or two-inch cube that has a Wi-Fi chip in it and a bunch of sensors. And so these guys, uh, they actually helped teach us quite a bit about Kickstarter. You know, I Skyped with them for two hours to chat about what it's like to launch a project on Kickstarter. They helped out. Um, and then after we launched, we decided to partner with them. And they made a really cool video. So they, they put their twine, which is this Wi-Fi sensor block, they put it on a door, and then they created a little program for twine where you could knock on the door in the right pattern, and it would send you a message on your watch, wherever you are, if someone was knocking, uh, nice. it's knocking on the door. Anything else? Uh, that, that's it on this one. So right. tell me where all the cool apps we know are coming. Well, I think so you can just grab your API, right? If it's all online. Yeah, but it's not available yet. It's going to start coming out in August. Oh, um, you had to apply to get your API. No, the API will be public. Everyone can. Uh, but today, how do you get it? Oh, it's, it's not. We're not finished. You have to be an installer. Uh, no, no, no. It's just. It's just not out yet. Okay. So tell me about the cool apps, and then we'll take a first uh, question from the from the audience. Okay. So I'm, I'm really interested in uh, in notifications. Figuring out like what sort of cool notifications can you get on your wrists. 